Chuck Chet's 19th annual Bull Flitch up here at Ozark Outdoors. I'm Dusty Kitmore joining, sitting on this awesome F-250. We got the awesome Bronco next to us, and uh, you're, you're no stranger to the to the Bronco world. You you recently got uh, got your Bronco. I did. I did the the rollout commercial for Bronco during the Super Bowl back in 2020, and we did a whole shoot, you know, a three day shoot with those Broncos, and so I got to try it before anybody ever got one. Like they, nobody even like. They weren't even out in the market. No, they weren't rolling no, around. They like you got they, them before they, everybody. They, they weren't out for another year and a half when I when I filmed it. But I just got mine, and they handle completely different than any vehicle I've ever been in. They're incredible. It was unreal. I got to drive this one, and yeah. I like. I was I was amazed at how it handled, how so smooth responsive. it is. Exactly. So responsive. And I mean, those it, it's got big tires on it too. Yeah. I mean, it, and you usually bigger tires tend to drift a little bit. Yeah. It's just it's a comfy drive. It's, like, it's, I think I'm gonna have to buy. It's, but it's incredible. I might have to it buy is. that one. Yeah. How uh, how have things been, man? You've been out on the road a lot. Obviously, you were in St. Louis earlier in the year, and I'm so bummed that I missed that show. Oh. But pumped that you're here at the Bull Flow Trip, so it's like hey, at least at least I get a Kip show, you know. If you missed this one, then we got problems. <laughs> you and I got problems. I'm gonna handle it out back. After the show. Yep. If I miss this one, I think that yeah. uh, like we we'll have to figure something else yeah. out on that. How has uh, how has everything been going out on the road? It's been amazing. Uh, th- this year has been it's it's been a blessing for sure. All the shows have been slammed. Um, we just got done with a three week run in Canada. We finally got to go back up there, and the, yeah. the, they were just we got such a special fan base up there. So we just feel lucky to be back playing music. Felt good to get back out on the road after you know being shut down for a bit, and and, and bleeding dry, so take, try to take care of a whole team, that's, man. That's I, man, like I, I've talked to so many, and you and I, you had stopped by not too long ago in the station. Yeah. We even talked about that too. I mean, that was that had to have been just so tough, and especially that's that's your life. Yeah. So what did you do during the downtime? Well, um, I, I rock climbed for the first four months of the lock of the lockdown yeah I, I literally was like there's no way i'm staying in a city with everyone being so scared i yeah. said i'm out of here man i'm not uh, so i went out to the uh, river gorge in kentucky and i got a, a cabin there me and my buddy we climbed eight nine ten hours a day that's awesome for four months and and it was glorious and then i went on a, a long mountain biking trip in sedona and then I was surfing for probably three or four months. So, so kept, I just kind of... You kept busy. I kept busy, yeah. And I was writing a new record through the whole thing. Yeah. So when can we expect more stuff out from So here? I'll be dropping a, a new song like I did with Fire on Wheels. That's in a couple weeks. Okay. I'm going to drop singles all through the uh, till November. And then we're going to put out a whole separate project, a full record at the start of next year. Right on. Well, hey, yeah. we are pumped to have you here. Playing new songs tonight? I'm playing. I'm playing the Fire on Wheels, which is we Perfect. put out late June. Yeah. Perfect. Well, man, we are we're pumped to have you here. Bull yeah. Flow Trip. Thanks for taking part in Truck Chat. We appreciate that. You bet. Hey, Kip's telling you right now. Go check out the new Bronco. Shout out to Ford for uh, for providing these as well. And uh, man, we appreciate it. You bet. Always.